Hey guys, how's it going? So I've been here watching my daughter for the last couple of hours and um, right now she's eating cereal, but that's beside the point. We've been watching uh, a show on Hulu or letting it play in the background more like because we're, I'm, we're, we're playing together. And I started to notice all kinds of ads with Taylor Swift in them showing up. Like the one I just saw that kind of prompted me to make this video was uh, a Chanel ad. And I started thinking, like, I hadn't seen Taylor Swift in hardly any ads until, like, the end of last year. And I know, like, she blew up last year, uh, you know, even more. She was already a celebrity. She was already famous. But she really re-blew up last year. And, and, you know, you can pause it, whatever reason is for that. But I was, I was like, what in the world is going on with Taylor Swift? Why is she all of a sudden, you know, super mega popular uh, again? And way more than she ever had been. So I kind of Googled a little bit. I was like, why is Taylor Swift so popular again? And so I kind of went down that rabbit hole. <laughs> and I came across this conspiracy theory. Uh, that Taylor Swift, being this popular, is actually a psyop. And I was interested in it enough to go read into it a little bit. And I guess, uh, so I remember in 2020, right before the Trump-Biden election, um... Taylor Swift made it, I think it was an Instagram post. It's been a long time since then, it seems like. So um, I may be wrong on what social media it was exactly. But she made a post of some sort where she was like icing cookies that said Biden on them. And uh, that was her kind of, her support of Joe Biden, kind of letting her fans know like, hey, go vote for Biden sort of thing. And so uh, the pe people now are kind of speculating that, Taylor Swift's meteoric rise last year that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to anyone who's not like a diehard Taylor Swift fan. Um, they're saying that it was kind of uh, propagated by the federal government trying to give her a bigger platform uh, to endorse Joe Biden and bring, you know, influence the, the youth vote. And at first I was like, that's kind of stupid. And then I started thinking about it and it's like, well... If you wanted one influencer, if you could have one influencer try to swing a vote for you, it would probably be Taylor Swift. Like, I mean, there's not really another um, another celebrity out there with as much pull as Taylor Swift right now. It's kind of crazy. Um, but <laughs> I went, like, into this even more. And apparently, like, as of February... 17 plus percent of Americans believe that this is the case. And that kind of blew my mind. Like I, I had just kind of tangentially kept up with Taylor Swift because I had a coworker who was like a diehard Taylor Swift fan and he would always be like playing her uh, music in the therapy gym. And it kind of like it drove me crazy because I don't like Taylor Swift's music. Uh, but it, it kind of struck me as that's an interesting thought. Uh, now, I can't say that I necessarily believe this conspiracy theory. Um, it would make sense if, you know, uh, if the federal government were trying to get a celebrity endorser that they would choose Taylor Swift. But it, it seemed a little more like um, middle class white girls just really like Taylor Swift's uh, breakup songs is really what it seems like to me. But um, at any rate. The fact that like 17% of Americans, it's, it's a third of American Republicans as of February, and it's been rising since, um, allegedly, according to a couple of polls that I found. But I, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Do you think that Taylor Swift is, is going to come out with some huge Biden endorsement? I know that like Travis Kelsey was the guy, like the first NFL athlete to like be the Bud Light spokesperson after the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing. And, you know, that, you know, they started dating just in time for the NFL season. And, of course, the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, which became all about Taylor Swift, which really pissed me off. But, um, hey, I'm just saying <laughs> the stars are aligning for it. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Also, this is what I've been moving this whole time. Um, we'll see if you can see. Oh, there she is. Yeah. We're eating cereal right now. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.